Well, Art, I think a lot of us were taught that uh, the life at the bottom is primitive. That's the word that was used, primitive. And so um, that's a little different than what you were saying. It sounds like it's really not that primitive. When you look at the animals that have survived, like some of the brachiopods and, and others that are still extant today that are also found in the Cambrian, the lowest layer where we have these complex life forms, you can investigate how complex the animals were. And you find out that these animals are fully as complex as any animals today in terms of their cellular biology. It really makes it very difficult to believe in evolution when you, re when you find out how, how, how deep the complexity is inside the cell. And I think that's one of the compelling arguments that suggests that evolution can't explain what we see. And that complexity is found, and it's easy to demonstrate this logically, that that complexity is found in the first complex organisms we find in the Cambrian. When you go below the Cambrian, you don't have these levels of complexity. In fact, other than some single cells and, and a, a group of fossils of unknown affinities, you don't find anything below the Cambrian boundary. But once you get into the Cambrian, even in the very lowest part of the Cambrian, you find not only representatives of every phylum, every major group of animals, but you also find diversity. You find many species of these different kinds. Trilobites, for example, 